what, if anything, are you doing to organize you? to organize you and your team for the arrival of these artists and talent on site. Let him wing it. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> you got this. open your email and go, you got it. You know, I try to hear them on the grid. I mean, I want them to be, my staff to be shared on all the information they can. And even though it is a little old school, I still like to make binders and I like them to have that binder. If it stays in the office the entire weekend, that's fine with me, but at least they know they could flip it open and see what we talked about on our advanced call. So the notes from those calls I'm making, I actually want to include as well as those main hit points of the logistics throughout the day. And that's, you know, the best we can do to prepare them. I also introduce them to the tour manager um, in that week prior welcome email, which is just like a recap of advance, I guess. I don't really have a name for it, but my welcome email. And I introduce them then and tell them that their liaison will text them the day before. So the 24 hours before that liaison who's going to be their on-site contact is chatting with them. Um, Mark, is that how you do it with your with when you're handing it off to your on-site person? I'll, in a weird way, I am the on-site person. You so, are doing everything. Yeah, so, I can do it. Do you have an assistant? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, for us, it's, you know, for us, it's very similar. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not on-site person for a lot of this stuff, the main point contact, but I also have a team of up to like 25 people the day of. So we break them into different organizations, whether it's the talent escorts, the talent check-in, um, I'm the point person for all the talent management to contact me the day of. I'm also the point person dealing with security and production. So definitely have a lot of hats during that day. But I'm old school too. Like, you know, I'll have I'll have everything printed out. I'll have face sheets so everybody knows exactly who the talent is that's coming. Um, I'll also have all that information grid on iPads for all of our team. I'll have one central location, whether it's in the green room for all of our teams to like go back if there's information or questions. Um, I'll also have somebody helping me manage the travel. So in real time, we're dealing with hotel challenges, car service, uh, you know, flights that are getting canceled. We're on the phone with our travel agents managing all that. So a lot of moving parts, especially for some of these bigger events where we're not only we're dealing with up to 150 plus talent and musicians, we're also dealing with the entourages. So you're imagining right. almost another four to 500 plus people that are coming through our dedicated check-in area. And it gets crazy. I mean, it gets nuts and you're trying your best to manage it all. Um, all I got to say is have a good pair of running shoes on or walking <laughs> shoes because you'll end up doing 20 to 30,000 steps, you know, depending on your venue and things along those lines. But I think going back to what you were saying, and it's just having all that pre-planning, all that information ready to go, having it accessible to everybody so that on the fly, anybody can find out about anything like, okay, this person is running late, get their point of contact on the phone, get the driver on the phone, find out how far out they are. And, you know, then communicating that to all the different production teams or on-site people that you need to do. And Alex, any, anything from your end? It's another one of those areas where thank God I'm in this age doing it. And my team has access to um, to the grids that I build or that we build. Um, we do tend to try and fill in like backups because, you know, sometimes cell service or data, whatever, is not the most reliable when you're in, a, in the middle of a festival. Um, and so like basic things like keep the schedule on your lock screen, you know, um, and have clipboards ready, you know, if if we have to print out schedules or the grids or whatever it is. Um, and then I usually have liaisons contact the artists the day before, you know, worst case morning of, um, and I let the artists know ahead of time that that's who will, like, there will be a point contact person reaching out to them, but that I'm also always available um, because I do try and have my pulse on all of it without micromanaging too much. Um, <laughs> Um, and then just building structure. So like I mentioned before, I'll have a transportation manager, a hospitality manager, um, and then my artist relations coordinator who will help manage all those different sub departments. Um, and then this way it's not 
everything on one person, but everyone working cohesively together. So if a liaison needs to grab hospitality for, you know, the team who's pulled in six other directions, everyone's still on the same page. You know, we're not luckily uh, unionized on some of the smaller events or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's a balance between sharing that, that workload and not taking on uh, too much yourself.